Hi friends, welcome back to another studio vlog. I have some more organization projects I want to do today. The reason for all the organization in my studio is I want to do a studio tour as an upcoming video on my channel and I feel like that's a really good excuse to just get everything as organized as it can possibly be. I like things that are both functional and beautiful and I want my studio space to be that. And I have just some various things to do today so I hope you'll enjoy watching today's vlog and working with me. So I recently started selling my artwork as products on spoonflower.com. So I am currently selling my designs as fabric as well as wallpaper, things like tablecloths, tea towels, pillows. Um, so I got some of my samples in. I have a bunch of samples on my wall back there, but um, this is just another large fabric sampler with all kinds of different designs. Um, some of these are not the exact way that I'm printing them because I use this sampler to make small edits and make sure that I um, like how everything looks before I start selling the designs. Um, one of my favorites is this green leaf print. It took a lot of work on my part to get it to turn out the way that I wanted it to and I just was really happy with the way that it came out. This is one of the wallpaper samples. I think it's so fun. I personally like dark colors for wallpaper. This is um, probably my favorite design that I have right now. It is just a light pink flower print and I have been contemplating this as an accent wall in my studio behind my desk over here. What do you think? I might end up doing that, but this is just the sample. I'm going to have to order more, so let me know what you think if I should do that. But this is the pre-pasted smooth wallpaper. I really like the feel of it. If I end up doing that, I'll definitely film it. <laughs> what I'm going to do with the peel and stick wallpaper today is line one of my desk drawers. I will need to order another peel and stick sample for my other drawer, but I thought we could install this together because I want to reorganize my desk drawers anyway. By the way, the pegboard we installed in my last vlog has been working out super excellent. I've been packing orders right here on the corner of this table and it is perfect for grabbing my supplies really easily. So we're at the corner of my desk here where I have two small drawers. These drawers I like to use for the items that I'm grabbing the most often while I'm working and so right now I have my washi tape in here. I have some sticky notes. This is actually a weight for my tripod when filming. These are just some accessories that I use for filming and charging cords, things like that. That's it for that drawer. Um, this drawer could definitely be optimized. I have a ton of markers, um, highlighters actually. They're all mild liner highlighters. I don't use these highlighters as much as I used to. I tend to use my Tombow markers more often now. So I might move these out of here because they're just not something that I grab every day. To reorganize the items, I'm using two of these bins from Ikea. The desk is also from Ikea and so they just happen to fit really perfectly in here. Okay, so I actually got my wallpapers confused. This is the pre-pasted woven wallpaper, which I realized because there's no backing that you can peel from this. Um, this is actually the peel and stick and it has, it's kind of wrinkled, but it actually has a woven texture that feels really nice. I think for now I'm going to put this pattern into the drawer um, because this one I think I want to test it out by sticking it onto my wall and see if that's the one that I want to go with. Um, this is about... Ten and a half. Um, I'm actually gonna cut and leave a little bit more than ten and a half because I think that the paper can kind of go underneath this edge of the drawer. The length of the drawer is about 18. I have a nice cutting mat here that I've had forever. It is messy, but it works just fine. I have a box cutter and a ruler. I'm gonna place my ruler at 18 inches and use my box cutter to cut. 
Okay, let's see, moment of truth. <laughs> That's so cute. My method for applying a big sheet of vinyl like this, or basically it's like a large sticker. I'm gonna use a microfiber cloth, a clean one, to help me out. And then I'm just going to peel like about an inch of the backing away. This edge is completely flat. I still have my backing on the rest of the paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this kind of like a glove. The reason I wanna use this is because it's very, very soft. Ignore the dog hairs. So I'm gonna use this over my hand as I go to smooth it out and that will help me out with the air bubbles. You can see over here that my paper started turning and so there is a little gap there where the backing is not covering. I think what I would do instead next time is cut the paper to like 11 inches instead of 10 and a half. Um, that way it would allow me to have like extra paper like I do on this side that's going up on this side um, of the drawer because I can always trim that with my exacto knife. Ta-da! And we have the finished result. I think that turned out so pretty. I think for the other drawer, I'm going to pick a brightly colored paper, something like orange or pink, because I think it'll be a really pretty pop of color behind all of these black and white items. All right, the next area in question is this wall over here. I feel like the storage on this shelf could be better optimized. Um, as well as right now over here, I just have this empty clear bin. So I'm going to try to rearrange things and mainly because I just don't like the way the shipping supplies look here. I want to put those in a bin just so I don't have to look at them <laughs> and just try to make things look a little nicer over here. Okay, I'm much happier with the way this area looks now. So this paper shelf is where I will put, I'm sorry, excuse my Minnie Mouse Band-Aid. I cut myself with a safety pin of all things. Um, this is where I put stickers when I print them out that are ready to be cut. Down here I have lots of different types of packing material, different envelopes and boxes. And this is kind of like random office storage stuff. I have a little fuzzy rug for taking pictures. I have these little banners and things that I use at events that I um, have gone to, extra boxes, um, the lids to my silhouette, silhouette machines. Up here, the white bins are both shipping materials, so I have some envelopes. What I do is I will stamp my envelopes, and when they're stamped, I will put them in this bin. So these are the ones that have not been stamped. I need to order some more. Down here is all of my planners, notebooks, everything, sticky notes, stickers, all kinds of planner, notebook, journal stuff. I'm really proud of the fact that I have only one basket of those sort of things. 
I have definitely narrowed down my collection. Up here is all of my paints and painting supplies. And then down here is all of my sort of like art paper and some random sketchbooks. And then over here, this is backup of my business cards. This box holds all technology, so things like hard drives, various cords and plugs and anything that goes with technology. And then in this clear bin, I decided to put my fabric and wallpaper samples from Spoonflower. So my plan is to keep adding new designs to Spoonflower and so hopefully um, by the end of this year, I will have a lot more samples in this bin and I'm just keeping them for now because I haven't decided what to do with them, but I definitely want to hang on to them as just references for myself. This is the um, first sampler that I got and I'm just leaving it up on my wall because I like the pop of color, um, but also it's kind of a reminder that I need to add um, order another one soon. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with my sketchbook, um, but I wanted to share this podcast. I have been listening to this podcast for um, actually like a couple of years. It is the Breakthrough Brand podcast, and during the time that I did not have my um, iPhone, I really didn't listen to podcasts very much, so I've been enjoying catching up on this podcast again. This podcast is by Elizabeth McCravey and she is a website designer. So some of the stuff is like not really relevant to what I do, but I find that the majority of it is and is applicable to any creative business. And this is one of the podcasts that I actually have listened to almost every single episode for years and I just love it. So I just wanted to share that if you're looking for a podcast. Okay, so I wanted to share my sketchbook update with you. So this I have shared in previous videos. This is my work planner and it started out as just a planner and then I decided to add in a sort of sketchbook section to my planner. So um, I did that by adding various types of paper. I just cut the paper with a paper trimmer and then I used my punch from the Happy Planner to punch the pages for a disc bound planner. So I have a variety of types of paper in here. Um, I've been really enjoying this, the fact that I can add in any types of paper that I want and that also that I can tear pull the pages out and reorder them um, because it's something that you can't really do with a typical sketchbook that is bound. So this has been working for me. Um, and then I also have the Happy Planner pages in here. Actually, this is um, my own insert design, but then this is the Happy Planner. Um, so what I decided I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take out all of the Happy Planner pages and I'm just gonna have this book be just a sketchbook for right now. So that's it, that's the sketchbook. I'm really excited about this idea. Um, so I am going to, um, I'm gonna do this later on tonight because I have other work to do and this is kind of a time waster, but um, in my free time, I'm gonna continue adding some more paper in here. I'll cut down some more of my watercolor paper and then um, sketchbook paper and put it in here so I have a variety of types of paper to work with. All right, the next thing that I need to do is work on my inventory. So I'm gonna go through my website and see which of my items are sold out and go ahead and print a bunch of stickers to restock. So I listed out all of the things that are sold out on my website and then I just put a check mark next to them when I print them out and then next to that I will write the um, quantity once they are cut. So that is for next Wednesday. That's gonna be it for today's studio vlog. I hope you enjoyed this video and I appreciate you tuning in for another episode. I will see you again in my next one. Bye!